Dandelion, do you hate it or do you love it? Find out what it is doing in your yard or garden or orchard. Stay tuned. Lines. I saw this week a father showing his son how to pull out and weed dandelion and how to throw it in the garbage and I thought wow is that your situation are you passing on the knowledge of how to destroy this plant to your kids and if so okay but let me give you some reasons you may hate dandelion you say yeah I hate it and you know I keep getting rid of it you know what dandelion's actually doing in your yard and why you have it or why you have a lot or you don't have hardly any? That's what we'll look at. If you have some dandelions, it's really a very useful indicator plant. You see, we got a little bit of dandelion here and it's, it's showing you a few things. The first one that you'll usually see dandelion associated with is your soil is compacted it's pressed down it's packed tight and so dandelion have you ever weeded dandelion you know that big tap root it's actually trying to it doesn't really drill down but it's trying to get through the soil so that that soil is decompacted or loosened so that's what it's trying to do and you know what happens when you actually pull it out and throw out the root it says Send the second wave! You get it? Send another wave because it's trying to do a job and you are pulling it out and getting rid of it. All right, the job's not finished. Send the second wave. So compaction is one reason. Another reason you get it, and one of the reasons we get it here a little bit still, this is nothing. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like when we bought this place and it was, if you bent down like this, all you would see across the orchard was yellow. You wouldn't even see green. Well, that was certainly indicating something. And I knew then already what some of the problems are that it was trying to solve. So I knew our soil here, because it's sand, it's not really compaction that's the problem. So what else could it be? The next biggest reason you get dandelion is your soil is lacking calcium and there are not many plants that are considered calcium pumps you see this imagine this stem and then you get a root and then it goes down 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 deep into the ground beyond the range of your grass it can take that calcium that's down deep and pump it up into well into the leaves and into the flowers so by pumping that calcium up if you leave the dandelion that dandelion now that's rich in calcium and these are very rich in calcium the leaves they will die on the surface or even if you mow it and if you mow it and you cut these two tops say and this is left so if you mow and you leave it so now these pieces are left on your surface of the soil What's going to happen with them? They're calcium rich. They will decompose and they will bring that calcium into your grass. And gradually, your, so your soil level of calcium will go back to where it should be. And then they will have done their job. So that's, a, that's another big reason. That's what we had, a real lack of calcium. And I remember the day that I realized, wow, dandelion had done their job. It wasn't roots and it wasn't flower. I mean, it wasn't leaves and it wasn't flowers. It was actually the roots. And I heard a scuffle going on. We had geese at the time. And I thought, what are they fighting over so much? One of them had pulled up a dandelion root and the other one wanted it. And they were fighting for a dandelion root. And I thought, Wow, 
We used to have a sea of dandelions. Why are they fighting over one root? And I had to look around and realize, you know what? It's kind of like this. There was very few dandelions left. So they had to fight over it because it was not many around. So I realized, wow, we went from complete yellow to, well, some of you would say that's quite a lot. And I'll tell you another reason why in a shortly. But this is, this is had done their, they had done their job. We weren't removing material. We weren't taking out dandelions. And so they had finished their job. The calcium levels were good. And we really virtually don't have dandelions anymore. The other reason that you'll get it is your soil is too acid. And we don't. We have an, almost a neutral pH soil here. But if your soil is acid, it'll encourage dandelion and let them restore the soil balance because they really like a more neutral level of acidity in the soil. So that's another reason you could leave them do their job. And the last one and the reason we still have some dandelion is when you have too much shade for the grass, the dandelion starts to come in because it's just too shady. Dandelion is a spring flower. It grows a lot in the spring, takes advantage of the sun. You see the leaves have just started to come in on the, on the fruit trees. And up until now, the dandelion have been pumping away and building up their reserves. So because they're a spring plant, they use their energy and now they're not really growing much. So they're done for the season until the fall and they'll grow back more leaves in the fall. So they can grow where the grass can't grow. Grass needs at least eight hours of full sun. And so now in here, because we've got taller trees, we have a little too much shade for some of the grass and it thins out and the dandelion can grow. If you're at all concerned about wildlife and you think, well, you know, there's frogs and there's birds, but there's a lot of insects, dandelion, you ever notice it's kind of the first one to flower en masse, a lot of flowers. And it happens to be the most important nectar source and pollen for the first insects to emerge in your yard. If you're removing it, you're actually getting rid of a lot of beneficial insects, insects that are trying to get rid of some pests in your yard maybe. And if you're taking these flowers away, you're chopping them off and you're weeding them out, then what are they going to eat? They'll go somewhere else. So you want those beneficial insects to work in your garden. So maybe leave them and let them finish their job. They'll reduce in a few years on their own and you won't need to use tools or especially not herbicides to get rid of them. That's the tip for wildlife and biodiversity. Now let me show you one way that you can see the dandelions telling you at what stage it is. Is it dominating the landscape or is it kind of hanging on? Because if you let it do a job, it will go from, here's a good one. Let's look at this one here. See that? See that dandelion? Look at the leaves. How are they angled? They're, when you see a dandelion basically angled like this, they're going, please give me some sun. I need some sun. Because, well, in this case, it's the shrub is shading it. The grass isn't that thick. And so it's on its last stage. It's not really getting stronger. But when you see dandelion like it is here, or here, you see their pattern? They are basically, they're dominating. They are opened up and now they can take the whole space. And that's what they do. They'll open up and they dominate. Means here, they haven't finished their job. And I know that this area is about a little bit clay in our soil. So because we walk here so much, we have probably compacted this a little bit and in some places, dandelion is finding it a good place to do some decompaction. Here's a really good one, completely open, but you see how we see some bare ground here. 
So it's just filling up bare ground, filling the space, covering the ground, because nature hates bare soil where you can have grass. And so it's growing like this. If you see it gradually going where the leaves close up, then you know that it's kind of finished its job. So look at your situation. Do you hate these things or do you love them? Or if you're neutral, that's okay too. But realize that they're trying to do a job for you, for your lawn, for your field, for your orchard. And which one are they doing? Look at where they're growing. Are they growing there because it's too shady for grass? If you have a lot of trees, that could be the main reason. Are they growing there because it's compacted? Because it's a spot like here in the middle where we walk a lot and so we're packing the ground down. Is it because your soil is too acid? Maybe you have a big conifer and the needles are falling and it makes the soil more acid. That could be a reason you're having dandelion. Or are you actually lacking calcium and they're trying to pump that calcium from deep in, put it back on the surface where if the grass has it, it has sufficient calcium and it will crowd out the dandelion and the dandelion's trying to tell you what it's doing. Is it, oh, I dominate and have all the space and its leaves are showing you that it's in the first stage or is it in the last stage where now it's so crowded by the grass that it has to grow its leaves upright. The plant is telling you, take a look at it, learn to listen what it's trying to do and be thankful for these little plants that are actually trying to solve the problems in your soil. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hey, please subscribe and check out our latest video. Active acidity, too much shade and... Is that it?